Right, today we're going to show you how to switch it out this small bubbler toy. We're going to add a jack to the side of the toy that will activate it just like the switch on the ear guide. You can see now I'll be able to activate it with the button. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the battery compartment cover off. There's one screw that you remove. And then to open up the toy, there are six screws. There's two, one on each of the eyes, two down here on the legs, and then two down on the feet. And remove all six of those. I'm going to use a number one Phillips screwdriver to remove those. A number zero would probably work well too. And I'll go in here and loosen them up. I've already removed a few of them, so let's see if we can get it to come apart. Nope, not yet. Some of these small screws in these toys can be difficult, so you just keep keep working at it. Alright, after taking out those six screws, you can grasp it down here at the bottom and just kind of pull it open. Be very careful. Slide the battery compartment out and open it up and you'll see the switch up here. Note the uh, orientation of the, the, where the leads on the switch. They're toward the bottom. And just pull that out. Okay. Set that aside. You can pull that little cover off the switch. And then I like to to take the fan loose of the, the bubble ones. So I just kind of rock it back and forth and it pulls right off. So that leaves you with the fan unit, the battery, and the switch. On the switch, there are three legs. One, the red wires hooked to the first one or top, whichever orientation you want to use. The second one, or the middle, is the white wire, and then the third one at the bottom is not used. I like to take my wire cutters and nip that third leg off so that we don't accidentally solder to it later on. So you'll end up with the switch looking like that with just the two legs. Okay. Now take your switch and put it in your, your clamp, your helping hands. I'm going to take the soldering iron and I'm going to touch each wire and pull it loose. All right, in each of your kits you should have got a jack. Looks something like this. Um, it has a nut on the end of it like that which we can take off at this point and save. Now there's, there's three legs. I'll show you on this other one that still has all three. These come with three legs. One up here by the front and then these other two. We're not going to use this center leg so I usually like to just trim it off. So take my wire cutters, trim it off. That way we don't get confused as to which legs to solder to. You should also have gotten some wire to 
the color doesn't really matter. I probably will put two different colors in your kit, but, but it doesn't matter which colors we use. You want to take your wire strippers, and these this is 24 gauge wire, so we're going to strip back about a quarter inch, just like that, on both wires. And then I like to kind of twist the ends good and tight. So they're tight like that. And put the wire in, a, in your clamp. And we're going to touch a little bit of solder to each, each wire. This is called tinning the wire, and you're putting, I guess, goes back to the old tin solder that I'm putting. This one's being a little difficult. There we go. Don't get too much. If if you if you get a big old blob on it just kind of flip it off like that. I'm going to take the pliers and I'm going to bend a little like you in the end of each wire. So that they they look like that. Okay. Clamp your jack into your clamp and then I'm going to take that wire I just bent a U in the end of it doesn't matter which color and put it in there and then kind of crimp those together and now we're going to take some solder and solder them We're going to do the same for the other. We're going to hook it through that loop. And take our, our pliers. Crimp it together and then solder it. Clean that soldering tip. Okay. You should have gotten a piece of heat shrink like that. You should have gotten two in your kit, but take one of them and and take your wire cutters or some scissors and cut it in half. We're going to slide half down each wire up to the jack like that and then the other wire like that and we're going to take the heat gun and shrink that heat gun. We're going to drill the hole for the jack and where we want to drill it is just past the end of this little little flange right here and I like to start off with a smaller bit in the drill we're going to end up drilling a quarter inch hole but this is uh, this is maybe a 3 16ths or something and if you'll take a light and kind of place it where it's shining down inside, you can see that little spline that's in there and see where to drill your hole. Just, just there past the end of it. Just like that. Now I'm going to put the quarter inch bit in. And 
and finish drilling that. And you be careful because it's going to try to grab on you and pull too. Go kind of slow like that. Now we have our our hole for our jack. If find the jack here, there's a little silver nut that goes on it. If you take that off, your jack's going to fit right through that hole, and we'll be able to put the nut on the outside there. We're not going to do that yet, but. Right now we want to just kind of measure this this jack is going to wire to that switch up there so I'm going to just measure and have a little extra wire about like that. I'm going to cut right about where my fingers are there. I'll cut both those wires off. All right now I'm going to after cutting those wires I'm going to strip back the other end of the wires about oh, a little more than an eighth of an inch not quite as much as we did last time but maybe an eighth to three sixteenths so now we have both wires stripped back and these wires that we unsoldered from the switch Let's let's see if we can strip a little bit back on them too. They're pretty small, so I think your strippers go to 26. You might try that, and you want to strip back about the same distance on them. Okay. So now we're going to take one of them. And one of the wires from the jack, it doesn't matter which which ones, what color. And I'm going to twist them together. Just like that. And get my clamp over here. Now I'm going to just put a little bit of solder on them. You don't want to get very much at all, just there we go. And we're going to do the same thing with the other. Okay, here's the other pair. We're going to solder them. Right? Now you're going to take your second piece of heat shrink that you got and cut it in half. And we're going to slide a piece up on each of these pairs of wire. You want to get it up kind of as high as you can because when you start soldering these wires you don't want it shrinking. So. Now we're going to solder these two pairs of wires back onto the switch. And this, this is probably the most difficult part of it all. You can separate those legs just a bit to make it give you a little more room to work with. All right, make sure you get a good solder joint, kind of tug on them a little bit. They seem to be okay. And slide your heat shrink up on each one and then take your heat gun and shrink it. And now we're 
you're ready to start reassembling the toy, the first thing you want to put in is the jack. So slide it through your hole and take your little round nut that came off of it and screw that on the outside. You want to get it pretty snug and then I usually take some pliers and tighten it up just a tiny bit more. So now that, that's in, now we want to take the fan assembly, and the fan blades go toward the back, and then this little bump up on top drops into this little notch here, so it, it, it goes in just like that. Slide your battery compartment in, and the little, the little tab where the screw goes, goes in first. Make sure your wires are out of the way. And there's a little slot it slides down in. Alright, and now we want to put the little tab back on the end of the switch. Right. And if you remember when we Put the switch out, the legs were toward the bottom of the toy. So let's put that back in the hole there. Make sure it's seated down in there good. Let's bend these wires down just a little bit, but make sure they don't come loose. And I like to stuff them down in there, and there's a little uh, flange on the side of the fan motor that you can kind of pop them into. That'll kind of hold them in place down there. All right, just like that. Then we can take the front and set it on there. And now we want to start putting our screws back. All right, we're going to put our six screws back in. You got some batteries with your your kit. We're going to install those. And there's little diagrams in here that show which way they go. And at this point I want to I like to make sure that it's working, so it is. Let's put our battery compartment door back on. And then we need to put the bubble wand back on it. And it just, you, you kind of slide it in there. There's a gear right here in the middle that's going to drop up inside that 
inside the hole in the center of the bubble wand. So you just slide it up in there, get it lined up, and kind of push it down. Make sure it's working. And then take a, one of the switches and make sure that your, your jack works correctly. So there you go.